Hi, Colleen Whiteford here, physical therapist with Appalachian Physical Therapy, and this is my trusty dog, Autumn, who maybe some of you know. And just wanted to share with you some of the conversations I have every day with patients about sitting and trying to not let sitting do more harm to the lower back, pelvic, and lower extremity regions than it has to. So Autumn's not gonna stay with me, so we'll let her go. So sometimes you hear sitting is the new smoking, and personally, I don't like that saying because I think it's silly. Smoking is smoking, and smoking is not good for you. We all know that, but we have to sit sometimes. We can't stand all the time, and sitting is not inherently bad. It's just more a matter of if you're always doing the same thing or you're doing one posture for prolonged periods of time, you really ought to sh break it up and shake it up a little bit because your body is meant to move. It's not meant to stay in one place. So some of the things that I do when I'm working from home, I like to have my computer on the kitchen counter. We have a dual height counter and I'll, I'll put the computer there and I'll be able to work on it in standing for a while and then I'll pull the bar stool over and I can still work on it, but I have the option of sitting. And I do the same thing here in the clinic a lot in the day. I'll move between standing and sitting and I'm really not even at the computer for long stretches of time, but I try to break it up and at lunchtime, when I'm finally doing my documentation, then I'll, I'll move between sitting and standing so I'm not staying in one place very long. It's really good to think about this if your job involves a lot of sitting naturally, like whether it's driving or whether it's being on the computer, and especially now with so many people working from home with COVID and just the changes it's made for our whole day-to-day -day activities. So just think about ways that you could maybe break up your periods of sitting. Studies show that you really shouldn't stay in a sustained posture for more than about 30 minutes without doing something to shake it up and move around a little bit. So one of the, the exercises or stretches that I like to use to change out what the body's been doing after a long period of sitting is a lunge stretch. And so Autumn and I will demonstrate this or maybe I just will, but a lunge is just gonna take a hip that's been in this position and sitting for a while and it's gonna go the other way with it. So all you're doing is lunging forward and trying to bring some extension to the front of the hip that's been closed up in that seated position. And if you keep your heel down, then you're gonna get a double whammy out of it and also get a nice calf stretch at the same time. And then just leaning forward. I like to hold it for, instead of a count, I like to hold for about four breaths, in and out. And take your time breathing. We don't think about breathing, but it's important. And then swap it out, do the other leg. And this is great too at a rest stop, like if you've been driving and gone on a, a extended car trip or if you're stuck on 81 maybe by us in an accident and you can get out and do a lunge stretch, this is an awesome one. So think about this, breaking up your time in sitting, maybe even if you have to modify, like the other day at home, I, did, I couldn't be at the kitchen counter so I took a box and I put it underneath a low table so I could work some in standing, some in sitting. But just trying to break up those periods can really do great things for lumbar, pelvic segments, and lower extremities and hips as well. So hope you can try that. Hope that helps. Take care.